Uh, whoops, yeah, I just turned my volume up. Howdy, howdy, my name is Garrick, and tonight we're sampling Chicago Express by... Hold on, which pseudonym did, did he use for this one? Oh, right, Harry Wu. How could I forget? Uh, it's John Bohr of Wins and Games. Uh, and joining me tonight is Mango. Hello there. Alan. Hello. And Lily. Howdy, howdy. Oh, no, I've just noticed my green screen is showing. Ah, ah. Better. Okay. I think I shifted my desk slightly. Anyway, uh, this is Chicago. Also a great start. Yeah, I know. I'm doing... This is, this is a great one. Uh, we're playing Chicago Express. I'm going to give a, a teach because we're all rusty and Mango hasn't played before. Hey, Chris Dube. So here we go. Uh, Chicago Express, we are railway investors trying to make the most money. Winner of the game is whoever has the most cash on hand at the end of the game. Shares do not count, uh, unlike 18xx games. Trash it. <laughs> uh, the game sort of has a um, action programming system to it. Uh, these are going to determine which actions we can take and how many times we collectively can take them before we pay out dividends. And after a certain number of dividends or a few other factors I'll mention in a minute, the game can end. Uh, so right off the bat, the game's going to start with an auction, auctioning off one share of each of these companies. The way auctions work in this game is pretty simple. There is a starting bid, which during the initial auction uh, is... Is it they're starting... Things It is their starting things. Uh, so all auctions, it's going to be their current income. Which we've moved it up to this fancy dividend tracker up here because who likes doing math? Nobody. I'm wow, not even a chuckle. Wow. Uh, so anyway, the starting bid is going to be the current income of the, of the company. Uh... I feel like I'm lying already. You're not. Divided by the number of shares already sold. That's zero. So, uh, uh, yeah. So at the start of the game, broke. at the start of the game, it's just the starting income. When we do later auctions, it will be divided by the number of shares already sold. Uh, I'll say that again later. So anyway, I don't think the mod does the auto divs, Chris. No, so just, the anyway. place we're bidding on shares in before we start. That's like our setup. Uh, yes, that is our sort of asymmetric setup. It does do auto payouts. It's just uh, it's good to know what they are. Anyway, uh, we have sort of like an asymmetric starting position by auctioning those shares. And then we'll move on to the actual gameplay, which the way it works is we'll take turns one at a time picking one of these actions to take so long as we can move the dial one space over. Uh, if an action is in the red zone, you cannot take it. And if you ever cause the dial to be in the red zone for two of them, you will stop before you take the action and trigger a dividends. Then after the dividends, uh, we'll reset these, you'll take your action, and we'll keep going turn to turn. All making sense so far? Mm -hmm. Yes. What ha if... I'm assuming if all three of them are red, it would also. Well, yeah, it's not well, possible because the moment we hit two, we would trigger the dividend and reset. Oh, them. so you? Oh, I thought you said so. You have to cause the second one. Yes. Now you have to cause both of them. Okay, I was confused there. Yep. Yep. Uh, so the three actions are to auction off a share, to develop, or to lay track. Uh, when you auction off a share, it's going to work just like the initial auction. Uh, you will pick a share of any of the companies that are open, meaning anything except for the Wabash Railroad. We'll talk about that later. Uh, you will either pass or you will bid the starting bid, which, as I mentioned before, is the current income divided by the number of shares that are already issued. And then the auction continues player to player, where if you pass, you are permanently out. Uh, and you have to raise by at least a dollar. Whoever wins gets the share. An important thing I should mention is anytime you win a share in this game, in an auction, you will pay the winning bid to the company's treasury. So that's how the company gets money to do things. Okay. 
Cool. Sure, Freddy. Freddy's saying you Is don't it have correct to... that there's only, there's only two shares for Chesapeake and Ohio? Yeah, they have different numbers of shares. You can null stock. Freddy's saying that you can put up a share for auction without actually putting a share for auction. Let me... What? Yeah, let me see. I mean, that's I have a degree in finance, and that sounds like something you could probably do, because yeah. finance is crazy fucked. <laughs> so, uh, just to clarify, you're talking about taking the action without actually triggering the auction itself. That's, I think, what he's saying. Um... I'm sure that there's some value to this. So you're saying you would basically just move the, the marker up one without actually doing anything? Yep. That's what the chat is saying. I... Derek's face disagrees. My face disagrees. I um, can't see his face. <laughs> what does he look like? Describe it to me. <laughs> that, that, this, this very well may be Freddy. It's just not supported by the, the Queen's Rule book as I'm reading it. It says... When you auction off a share, the player can select a share for auction belonging to any railroad company. Am I supposed to interpret that as a may? I mean, can well, and may are pretty... Can and may are basically the same thing. Yeah. Right, except in like a, a you know, a, a loosey-goosey rule book where it, it's when you do something, it just says can. Like, as in, that's what the player can do is when taking the action. Hmm. Uh, Because it's got that that weird not legalese formatting of like Euro games. Eric wants legalese. I want legalese all the time. He wants his rule books unreadable right. until you can decipher them. Yeah, I'm going to trust you guys. Apparently all actions are May. So you can just move the dial and not take the action, which is okay. interesting. Huh. Yeah. I mean, I suppose there's a reason you'd want to do that sometimes, but there's there's definitely reasons and they will reveal themselves forthwith. Um, the chat will tell us about them. Yes. I'll, I'll probably try to do it and then regret it like three <laughs> seconds later. So um, I, don't chat, I don't chat up either. I'm, I'm on a one monitor system here, so, you know, it's a <laughs> rough life. Cool. I'll, I'll let you know if they say anything relevant to you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's basically auctioning. I think I covered it. Um, we're going to skip developing for a second. We're going to go to laying track. Uh, the way laying track works is you will select a company that you have at least one share in and you will lay up to three pieces of track for that company. Uh, when you lay track, it must be connected to existing track. Uh, it does not have to continue previously laid track necessarily. So you're like, you're allowed to branch and fork. You just have to be connected to existing track. Uh, and then when you lay, you will have to pay the red number in whatever hex you enter. So in this case, I would be paying $1, $2, $2, $5 total uh, out of the company's treasury. Does that all make sense? The, sorry, so it's the red number listed? Correct. Okay. And... Um... So these tracks are, they're omnidirectional, right? Yes, yes. They can go any which way. Got it. Um, additionally, if you enter a space that has a plus inside of the train, you will immediately increase the company's income by that amount. So laying in Martinsburg here will, see, that was the yellow company. It starts at five, it'll move over to six there. Does that all make sense? Mm -hmm. Couple other notes. Uh, only a single locomotive can exist on forest and mountain hexes. So first come, first serve. Hmm. Um, do, when a company lays track into Chicago, boom, uh, something special will happen. They will get their massive seven revenue bonus, as you can see. We will pause the game and trigger an immediate dividend. Then we will open up 
the Wabash Railroad, this last train company down here, uh, it enters the game, will place its starting train on Fort Wayne, uh, and we will auction off one of its two shares. All good? All clear? Mm -hmm. So used to complicated games where everyone has questions. Uh, <laughs> uh, just, just reminding myself of anatomy. So the sure. negative number is the money you need to pay to lay a train there. Correct. The positive money is the increase to revenue. Yep. And then what's in the little other one? Uh, house. That's, that's a house, which means it is related to the oh, development sorry. action. No, you're fine. That's, that segues us right into it. Uh, so when you take the development action, uh, <laughs> see you later, Freddy. Uh, when you take the development action, you will pick a hex to develop, which means placing one of these little houses on it. Uh, it must have a train in the hex to develop it. If you place it on... Let's do a city. It will increase the revenue for all companies in that city by the amount inside the house symbol. Uh, likewise for mountains. Uh, if you develop a forest, then the company that's in that forest will immediately get $2 into their treasury. The company... So when they build or when... When they develop. When they develop. Yep. Yeah. Unless so uh, if it's something like this, somebody was already there, somebody developed it, if another company were to then lay in, when they increase their revenue, they will do it for both the train symbol and the house symbol because it's already been developed, so they get the bonus. So develop cities can be basically benefit anybody can benefit from those but yes. develop forests it's whoever does it first that's just because the forests are first come first served as you'll recall uh oh. forests and mountains can only have one person on them mm -hmm. so what so the plus two in the mountains how would that that would only apply would to whoever was laid track there because you can only develop when there's track in it it's interesting okay. Is it all They're kind of just like better cities. It's kind hilarious <laughs> that you could just like loop around on the mountains. Yeah. Well, not all of them have a cost of two. Some of them have a cost of four or three, as you'll note. Yeah, true. But they're easy to get to. It's true. Um, so still on development, there are three special cities, as you can see on the map, Wheeling, Pittsburgh and Detroit. Uh, they have their development bonus tracked by these charts down here. And when you take the um, develop action, you can choose to develop an industrial city instead of another hex. Uh, when you do so, you will move the marker over one space, and that increases the value of that city. Uh, and what this is... What I'm implying here is that the Wheeling, Pittsburgh, and Detroit always have their development value. They just are, you can imagine they have a house on them already. Is I that, love that Detroit is like the worst one, and yet it's so far away. Well, so that's why I should clarify. So Detroit uh, is the one that does not develop from taking the develop action. It develops every time uh, dividends are called automatically. Hey. Yeah. There you go. Yep. And that is also why it is one of the game end triggers. If it ever reaches a value of eight, uh, that triggers the end of the game. Okay. So if Wheelings hasn't been developed and you and you place track there, it would cost three, but you would get a plus three. Plus three income. Yeah. Right, but if, but if somebody else is developed and then you go in and lay track there, it'll be a plus four. Exactly. Got it. All that clear? I'm um, sorry, the one thing that wasn't clear, so 
you have to have a train. So the, the house bonus applies when you place a train there or when you develop there? When you develop there. I see. And you have to have a train to develop there. Yes. Understood. Uh, uh, just uh, Sure. So what's the, and what's the dollar sign mean in the forest versus the plus two and plus one? The dollars just put two dollars into the treasury of the company that's there. Whereas the oh, pluses so it doesn't are... affect the share price the way the other ones do. Exactly. Uh, Got it. So just a, a random question. Just simply having a locomotive in a tile increases your value. Not it does it all has to connect back to the starting city, but it doesn't have to be like a single contiguous route, right? Correct. You can it's totally valid to have yellow branch off in two different directions. Like that, if that's what you were asking. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, I mentioned uh, Detroit being developed up to eight is one of the ways the game can end. The other ways it can end are if uh, three or more companies are out of trains to lay track with. Uh, if three or more companies are out of shares to auction off. Or if we are down to three or fewer houses in the supply. Uh, for any of those cases, and for Detroit hitting eight, uh, it triggers the game end. We will stop playing after the next dividend is paid. At which point we will then count up who has the most money and whoever has the most wins. Okay. And I think that is it. Now that, so forgive me for this, now sure. that I have a better sense of how like board stuff works, the equation for dividends is value of the share div divided by the number of shares out in the wild? Yes. Um, There's an example right here, if that helps. It's yes. the current income divided by the number of sold shares in the company uh, rounded okay. up. Okay. So in theory, if you're the only person who has a share, you just get the whole thing, even though you only have one. Um, <laughs> if you're all, if it's a second share to be sold off, then yeah, it's just going to be the company's yeah. current price. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I had to think that through. Oh. Make sure there. I had to make sure I wasn't like going to say yes and be wrong. That would be even more embarrassing. Well, it's just, mm -hmm. it's interesting because there's then a much higher potential inherent value to the companies with fewer shares if you can get in there. I think there are some income values where the rounding causes you to actually gain money if you have all of the shares. Mm -hmm. hmm. um, well, because if, if in this example, one person held both shares, then the, the it's, yeah. There's, there's the possibility of, of after this, they paid out, everyone would get eight, even though the value of the bid, even though the value of the share is only 7.33. Yeah, if there were two shares sold and the income was 13 and you paid dividends, you would get $14 if you had both shares huh. because it rounds up. That's OK. That makes sense. So really, you just always want to be on odd numbers. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I don't think I'm gonna be playing well enough that rounding's gonna be affecting my game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I I I do think we're living in a magic Christmas land where we think that that actually matters to us. <laughs> it'll it'll matter. Maybe not maybe not, not much, but... <laughs> intensely or anything, but it'll matter. Um. Yeah. So I can't think of any rules I didn't cover. Which is sort of how not remembering something works. So I think we can just... You've got everything pretty good. Well, that's what chat's for, right? Yeah, exactly. I do have one question. What's that? How do we determine who starts? Oh. Um... Candyland, obviously. I guess Candyland, yeah. All right. I don't think there's a cute rule for determining who's first in this game. There's a great game called Candyland. Who wants to click it? Beautiful. I 
I call cheating on green. <laughs> wow. All right, Lily is first up. Um, actually, wait. It probably doesn't matter because we just no. It goes. It matters for the order of the auction, huh? Yeah, because yeah. I would not pick what I put up to auction. Uh, right? you don't pick. They have a predetermined order, but you get to but. bid first. Uh, so speaking of, first up is PRR, and the starting bid is seven dollars. And oh, whoever, how many of these do we auction? Uh, one we're, of each. One of each, uh, minus the Wabash Railroad. Uh, and the okay. order, the order to be clear, is PRR, B and O, C and O, and uh, what's the green one? New York Central. New York Central. Thank you. So top to bottom here. Yeah. Yes. And then whoever wins PRR will be the person who takes the first turn of the game. And the bidding starts at what? For PRR, seven. it starts at seven. That's what. Sorry, I did. and remind me one more time how that's derived. Uh, it's just, <laughs> it's just their starting values. Basically, they start with an income already. Okay. All right, I will take it to eight. What? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um. I should also maybe mention that the companies have different numbers of trains. So that is, that is another thing to be aware of. Mm -hmm. In addition to the having different numbers of shares, different amounts of cash and income. It all matters. It's cool. I have a lot of misplaced faith in PRR. <laughs> um, I'm going to, I'm going to drop out of this one. <clears throat> okay. Uh, current bid is eight. Yay. Yes. PRR. Um, counting. It's part of the way there. Uh, yeah, I'll bid nine. I will bid 10. Gosh darn it. I'll go all the way to 11. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you just make 10 the highest bid and like... <laughs> <laughs> um... Money is meaningless. I'm going to take the emu approach. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh man, I haven't played enough train games to get all the in jokes. Emu, emu loves. just tries to buy everything possible. In the opening auction, every he'll time. He'll just go broke. <laughs> he will go for broke. Uh... Literally broke. <laughs> I think I'm going to pass. It's hard because it's not only bidding for PR, it's also bidding for first turn. Right, right. It's I don't know that it's not worth that value. I just I'm well, not the only guts tonight. Just just I'll, pass and pass and I'll, we'll find out. I'll bid twelve. I'll go to passing. thirteen. <laughs> Fourteen. Fifteen. All right, you can have it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that will probably be All right. a thing that bites me in the ass later. It very well might be. Next uh, up. But it gets, it gets 15 bucks in the treasury, though, right? It does. Yes. Everything you paid goes into the treasury. That seems relevant. That is very relevant. That's why I was mathing routes real quick for red when I was doing bids. I was like, how much does it need to be functional? Uh, okay, B and O is up. Starting Wait, bid. hold on. You tell me I don't have to do math to play this game? Oh, we have to do math. I'm sorry. Worse Gosh. than I math, we have, to do allowed. we have to do arithmetic. I'm sorry. The worst type of math. No! <laughs> uh, this is my nightmare. <laughs> All right. B and O is up. And its starting value is six. Uh, as the winner of PRR, Alan, you are the first to bid on it. 
Uh, six on B and O. Yes. Yeah, six. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna skip a bunch of the nonsense and go right up to nine. Right up to what? nine. I love the nonsense, though. The nonsense is fun. Eleven. Twelve. Fourteen. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> oh. Fourteen. <laughs> Fourteen? Okay, I'm out. <laughs> yes! I'm gonna get it, I feel it. <laughs> One second, I'm mapping. <laughs> Eric's over here doing math. I'm just like doing shenanigans. Yeah, you, from what I understand, you uh, you trade, you do stocks with your gut. <laughs> if I've learned that's anything how, from Reddit, that's how I do stocks. Oh man, high bid is fourteen right now. I mean, that's, that's how R slash stocks works, right? <laughs> They're taking it back, guys. Uh, you can. You can have it. I, I'm passing. Oh Lily. no! Yeah. Lily, Lily, are you gonna let this happen? Oh no! This is Why? still nonsense, Marcos. Don't so, worry. L Lily, you can lock me out at fifteen. I could lock you out at fifteen. But then you have to pay fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> you can have it. Yes, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna, pay, I'm gonna spend all my money early and then regret it heavily later when I can't afford any of this stuff and people just buy everything for nothing. Is this, yeah, man, this is already interesting. Uh, you paid fourteen for it. Yep, he's got I a dollar 14. left. <laughs> We're doing this game well. All right, I'm just putting your money in. All right, next company up for bid is the CNO. Its starting value is five. And once again, Alan is the winner of the previous one. You are up first. <laughs> I don't think it's one in invalid. You can only pass. <laughs> Darn. <laughs> yeah, I'm already seeing the failing of this particular plan. <laughs> like it's instantly obvious. OK, I see that. I see what happens here. I know exactly what's going to happen now. <laughs> All right, Mango, what you got? Um, I will bid five. Uh, I will bid eight. I'll bid nine. Um, I will bid... How many shares? Uh, oh, a lot. This, this one's not yeah, stacking this... for whatever reason. So there's five. Yeah. Six total. Uh, toggle stackable? Or you might have to custom it to see if they make it stackable. Anyway, um, I will bid 12. There we go. There we go. Thank you. Yep. Uh, you bid 12? What is... Ooh, baby. Um... No, I'm, I'm, I pass. I pass. I'm going to come out of this auction with no shares. <laughs> uh, I'll go to 13. Yeah, why not? Sorry, give me one second. Um, I'll go to 14. You can have it. Okay. I just want all the companies to start with relatively the same amount of money, apparently. Clearly. Okay, my goal here. All right. all right, Mango, you know what you must do. All right, Mango, your first to bid for the NYC starting value is $8. 15, Mango, do it. Do 15. 
I will bid. I will bid sixteen dollars. Oh my yeah. God. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I pass. I don't want any part of it. Lily. Lily, just just think of how much money you could have in this company. See, the issue with that is then I leave Garrick to just control bit control it, the bidding. Yeah. My fear. Probably. You should probably okay. just punish Mango and I. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do. Let me think. Let me think. Let me just... So if I bid that 16, so he would have to pay. <laughs> Screw it. I'm going. I'm going for it. I want. To, um, I want it too much. I'm bidding 17. Okay. <laughs> I've given it some money. Well, we are off to a great start, guys. Great start. Uh, Give me one second. I'll be right back in just a minute. Sure. Alan, you are first up as the owner of the PRR. Which action would you like to take? So my immediate uh, regret is recognizing after the fact, oh, wait, I can only develop one company at a time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that was a uh, that was dumb. <laughs> Oops. Anyways, I should try to develop a company. Probably. <laughs> so I'm gonna <laughs> lay some track. Uh, does it have to be PRR or can I choose whatever? You can choose any company that you have a share in. Okay, give me just a moment. Sure. To math. Bye. Uh, Yeah, it's all bad. It's all bad. I made mistakes. <laughs> I have regrets. <laughs> I th that said, I kind of feel like I need to rush PRR so I don't get locked out is the problem yeah the there's sort of clear paths for for red and and blue uh but then the danger is if green's gonna like come in and compete with red because i've seen so that that's four dollars out of treasury correct and then i bump up my income by one yeah yep exactly Okay. Uh, I need just a couple of minutes. I'll be right back. Sure. Uh, whenever Mango gets back, he will be up. Okay, so he's going if, around. If yeah. anyone starts a bid, I clearly can't do anything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I'm back for... Yeah, I'm, I'm here now. Um, and you're up. So he took a build and he did that. Yep. Yeah, so I am going to also take a build... Uh, I'm going to build with yellow. There, so it costs a total of five, and the share price goes up by two. A uh, total of four, by my count. Oh, yep. But you are correct about the value. Yellow goes up by two. Okay. okay. Uh, let's see, I have 30... Bucks. Let's go ahead and put something to auction. What would I like? Hmm. Currently, green and red are better value. 
cheaper. And it's four more shares. But it's two. Who do I want to shackle up with? Alan has no money. Hey, I'm back. I am deciding which share to auction. Ah, uh, any of them. <laughs> <laughs> I vote red. I am leaning towards red. See, that's the thing. The thing I do remember from my one play of this game is if two players go in together on a company, yeah, they're kind of just like neutral between the two of them, but you really can box the other players out. Yeah. Yeah, I'm putting a red share up to auction. Um, so the bid, number bid for that is three or four. Sorry. Uh, no, it's the ones already sold. So the starting bid oh, is seven. is uh, no, eight. it's including it's including the one that's getting put up for auction. I is thought. It? Oh, let me check. Including the one currently printing up. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Minimum bid is four. Ooh, I know um, how to do things. You're right. I, I knew that and then second guessed myself the moment we started talking, even though I was thinking through it, thinking it was four. Anyway, uh, I'll throw that bit of four out there, not expecting it to last. I will bid six. So this is for R or PRR, the red. PRR. Um, R. R. <laughs> <laughs> I will bid seven. seven. Well, Garrick, you uh, you started this auction. You can spend your whole action and not get anything out of it. Uh, I'm just counting up stuff. Current bid is seven. Yes. Yeah, I'll bid eight. Ten. Ten, you say? Ten is what I say. Hmm. It's fascinating. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> so, for, um, will the company get money? The, the money yes. gets paid to the yep. company, right? Yep, yep. That is correct. Okay, so... Four left. How do they spend so much money already? <laughs> no, no, it's got eleven left. Look at the number in the. Oh, sorry. Yo, yep. yep, yep, yep. Okay, thank you. It's got eleven left. Dad, we caught that early. Um, <laughs> I will bid eleven then. Yes. Uh, I'll bid thirteen. Oh. <laughs> so back to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can't How's do anything about that. Jerry still has thirty. Yeah, he hasn't bought anything yet. That's what I'm trying oh, to make. How sure bad does he want it? How bad does he want <laughs> it's it? It's a good question. I don't know. So here's the here's the thing. I actually would argue for letting him have it at thirteen because if if you spend thirteen, then there's only Lily to put any checks and balances on him. That's a good point, point. and then that would evenly match us in terms of money. Yeah, you can have it. Okay, thirteen. Okay, I feel pretty good about that. You could. I have mean, twelve. You're. <laughs> You're getting it for cheaper than I got it for, which I don't love, but, you know, whatever. Anyways, we'll add 13. Yep. All right, that was my action. So, Lily, you're up. Ah, yes. Sorry, is there anything else to use our personal funds on besides buying stock? Uh, winning. Okay, so, w yeah, so. <laughs> uh, well, figure, can, can you sell stock at any point? I'm guessing no. No, no selling stock. Yeah, so, like, every dollar you spend is, like, investment, but you're lo actively losing points. Exactly. Got it. And, um, this game is so, so what is the cost for developing again? Uh, there's no cost. It's just an action. You just have to have a, have a thing there. Action, then no, no action. 
Joe, you're you're saying, Joe, you're saying that's what they should have done to me? Quick. I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, you are back up. Uh, or, yeah, Alan, because Lily went. It did do a thing! Alright, uh, I'm gonna keep on keeping on with Red. At this point, I'm kind of just helping Garrick, but it helps me too, so... Bands well, in blue. Why don't you do blue? Actually, yeah, I, 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 should, I probably yeah. should. Probably Since Garrick's should. gonna push red, then you should push blue, clearly. Make him do the work, but then you get the benefit of it. Who says I'm gonna push red? Maybe I'll just go buy another share. Maybe I mean, he'll yes. buy a blue. <laughs> yeah, see, that's... Well, the, the potential reason for pushing red here would be, like, everything that I do with red adds revenue, whereas... Pushing blue only adds one revenue. Still adding revenue. It, uh, yeah. And I guess and, if and I. And you have majority stock, so, I mean, you have only stock, so you get full amount. Uh, this is true. I'm just encouraging people to buy my stock, and I don't love it. <laughs> that is how, that is how stocks work, yes. <laughs> well, so, like, I could just, like, let it sit. Yeah, it's only earning me six bucks, but hey, that is six bucks. If anyone buys it, I only get three bucks. Yeah, I don't know. That's awkward. I guess it does go up to four at least, even if somebody buys a second one. Um, so that's going to be one, two, three, four dollars. Sorry, I'm like so much slower than you guys. Oh, you're fine. I, oh, you're I fine. sat there for like two minutes on my turn. I knew what I wanted to do before the game started. So. And my revenue goes up to here. I have a plan and I will execute it and it, I don't care if it does not matter what, what everyone else is doing and it's going to go horribly wrong. I'm very excited. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, am I up? You are. Okay. Oh. Oh, duh. I'm being dumb. <laughs> This conversation is why cubes are bay, Joe. I love cube rails. I wish you played them more. I'm nothing. going to auction off. Nothing. Auction here, uh, nothing. Yellow. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Interesting. Oh, you know, we didn't, yeah. we didn't move red down to there. That's my bad. Uh, okay, this is going to have a minimum bid of four. I will start the bidding at four. Oh man, I for a second thought you were gonna start it at sixteen and I was about to die laughing. <laughs> uh I'll take it to five. Six. Uh we'll go to nine. Now we're talking. Um, 11. Hey, Matt, thank you for the subscription. <laughs> How you doing, man? Um, 11. Mm. I'll pass. And so it's 11 to me? Yep. I will go for 12. 12. Um... And train based. Yeah, we had some cool streams. <laughs> um, it's Mango's turn. I'm up next. I pass. I pass. Pass. Okay, so 12 to me. Yep. That does mean you'll get to buy whatever you want for 13. Pretty much. Deciding how worth it that is.
All right, my my go. Definitely going to auction a share. Oh, I thought there were only two yellows. Uh, no, we remember we fixed because one of them wasn't stacking right. Uh, it had like. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Huh. Oh wow! So PRR and B and O are actually the lowest fair counts. Yeah. Interesting. Well, now I feel better about my life choices. <laughs> Joe, we're trash. Don't be too upset by our bad plays. <laughs> um, what am I auctioning off? Not trash, you're a potato. Potatoes are type of trash. Shut up. <laughs> well, green has the highest revenue, so. Uh, it does. It does. It also has the most shares. It feels like I should just try and grab up that red share for 13 while I can. But that's probably screwing up the, the incentive structure in a weird way. Makes you almost want to just trash the company out of spite, maybe? I don't know. Or just force you develop and I'll just ride it with my single share for the rest of the game and do other stuff. I mean... I mean, if you're, like, lopsidedly invested in it, then I suddenly stop caring. It's going to pay out. Three, I'll get six back. But there really is only one left. <laughs> but then whatever you take for 13, Lily can take whatever she wants after that. It's true, but is it as well, good as what there I'm is, getting? There is no more auction action after oh, this. It's yes. true. At least not until and, we have a dividend pay. Well, yeah, but you're you're immediately following Garrick, so like we're you gonna, just can't. Yeah, we're gonna put it up. Ooh, chill for thirteen. Cool. Okay. <laughs> I can't do anything with that. I have no clue if this is good or not, but there we go. Well, I mean, so far you've spent less than me and the same as mango so yeah for the share same amount of shares so all right train base yeah but mine are yellow you see <laughs> so. train Let's base we that. actually showed up in that newsletter if you go down to the list of all the um uh uh content creators uh they we were right next to dads on a map it was a cool little thing it was cool this 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 action increases the revenue by two, right? Uh, yes, it does. Whoop! Oh, did we? We got to move right down to there. Also at thirteen dollars to PR Treasury. Uh, yes, you're right. All right. So, question: Answer. If I if I take the track action, we do dividends first. Dividends and then you first. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what I was thinking. So that's that's why it makes more sense to go ahead and do a develop first. Uh, okay, well, in that case, I will do the same. I love incentive structures in games. <laughs> All right. Let's... Why is this house thing so damn big. Joe, it does I thought not it... need to be that big. Yeah, it does not need to be that big. Joe, I swore it said that when the dividends are triggered, you do that before taking the action. Oh, hang on. When it is a player's turn and two indicators in the on the gauges are already in the red area, the game is interrupted and dividend phase is called. The player does not make their move until this phase has been completed. Only after this phase does the player make their move. That's it is written insanely in the rule book if that's true, Joe. Also, I'm pretty sure we played it that way last time because I don't know how to read. I, I'm gonna trust you, Joe, because you certainly know what uh you're doing better. Uh so hang on, just so, for clarity sake, yep. I can lay track first? You can lay track first, yes. Okay, then I do definitely do that instead. The, the rule book is just flat out wrong in this regard. <laughs> That's, <laughs> is that a thing? 
it, it, it is a thing when it's it's a winsome, which means this was republished. It was, you know, the original rules were a two sheet that was released, uh, you know, to 100 people. Well, that's uh, marginally annoying. It is. Anyway, so this is $6 and hang on. I started at six. I went up by one, so I should you're, you're, go. You're, you're oh, red. Two. You're red. Oh no, you're doing blue. You're blue. You're I'm right. moving. I'm oh, moving you're in blue. blue. Oh, you're right. Never mind. You're right. So I was at I was at seven. I added three, so I'm at ten. Okay. And I need to spend six. Cool. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so then, before Mingo can take his turn, uh, there is a dividends phase triggered. Uh, each of the companies will pay dividends. I really do wish there was a payout button. Yeah, Joe, I realize that's what it must be indicating. That's just a horrible way to phrase that. Uh, I want to try something. There's a payout button on these. It's just This is just tracking what the payout's going to be. So... <laughs> yeah. Wait, you were paid how much? 11. Oh, yeah, you're green. green. I'm by yeah. myself! Blue's <laughs> paying out 10... <laughs> Red is paying out three, bless you, and yellow is oh. paying out four. I feel pretty yeah, good see, about this, only... That's, that's the hard part, is if we go by this, then it splits it up like that, because it's not paying out three, it's paying out nine. Oh, I see what you're saying. Uh, you, can always, you can always look up to the top up here. Yeah. Well, okay. but that's the thing is, that's an eight. Right, that's the, that's the no, value. it would be... Does the scripting not correct it? I don't know. I, no, I don't know. I didn't try. We'll try it <laughs> like next time. Because I, I, I paid it in two, two things because I got confused. So is the payout per share Wait. or total? Here. Has yellow paid out yet? No, I don't know what, the, well, I don't know what I'm getting. All right, cool. Well, that worked out enough. So you have both shares. Don't worry, I paid you. Yeah, it works correctly. Yeah, you can, cool. you can just pay it out properly. Okay. So, so what did I get? Did I get eight? I got eight. You got eight because mm -hmm. of rounding each share was worth four, despite your income only being seven. So all these go back to green. Yep. Detroit, Detroit advances one. one. Uh, and I think that is it. Cool. So Mango, you are up. So normally you track income on the board here. Yes. This is just a fancier display to allow scripting to be smarter. Uh, no, it's mostly so we know what they're worth on a per share basis. Okay. Um, At a glance, without having to do math. But causing confusion in other places. You so just have uh, to. What did I pay for that yellow share? I paid money for that, right? Why does it only have ten? Did it not get paid when I bought that other share? Did it not get added? Let me see the log. Both Mingo feet to bank. I don't see anything into the company. So yeah, it looks like it's missing money. Okay. There we go. Okay. So that being said, I will take the build or lay track action. One, two, three. Upside down trains in Lynchburg. So you can set a one, two, three, four. So spending four and share price goes up by two. I've got your share price. Go ahead and spend your money. All right, all done? All done. Okay. Uh... Currently have the weakest cash. I need to lay some track. I, I think. Let's go. Let's see. It's going to be spending three, five, eight. That's going to increase value by three. That's my turn. I will also lay some track. 
I'll continue my trek up north here. Look at you fancy people with money in your companies. <laughs> hey! You have we're... money in your companies? Yeah, you're in red. <laughs> yeah, I'm That's not helping hard. you with that, buddy. <laughs> I'm gonna ride that one <laughs> share for all it's worth. Uh, so that increases my game. revenue by one. Okay. Need to uh, dilute some of those shares. You're up, Alan. Um, I think. What oh, gosh, I'm, I'm trying to think of what the Mango best tap option dancing. is here. Sorry, I'm, I have a baby strapped to my chest. So I'm just tapping him. <laughs> it didn't work before, but I couldn't bail. <laughs> What is the best thing I can do here? I'm going to start an auction on green and I'm going to bid 13. Okay. Uh Lily, it's that's to you. Um yes. Lily knows what's happening. Sorry. What's happening? Current I, bid is 13. I... Current bid is 13. I'll bid 14. There you go. Okay, Mango, you're up. Okay, I am going to lay some track. And I put 14 in green. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Okay, so that's a minus three, minus six, minus 10. And let's see, we get plus one, plus two, three, four. Yep. On the share. Okay. Uh, I gotta step away for a minute, but that's my turn. Sure. Um... I'm gonna go ahead and lay track since I have the option. Uh, let's go. Uh, Mango's cursor is literally right on top of the numbers I didn't want to, want to see. <laughs> <laughs> um. We're close to a dividend. Let's go for the straight value. All right, it's gonna cost me four, six, uh, eight. Spend money. It's going to increase revenue by, let's see, that's Pittsburgh. Uh, so that's four, five total. Four, five. Ooh, baby. Ooh, oh, baby. Oh, yeah. All the way up to six dollars. Oh, yeah. Okay, that um, is my turn. Six dollars of undeserved income. Undeserved, sir. I am offended. I worked for uh, it, and you put money into the company. I it's sure teamwork. did. I did that first track, Lay. I yeah, helped. yeah. It's teamwork. Uh, right. I don't want to think. You don't want to think? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm done. All right. Um. <laughs> Jack Porkins, thank you so much, man. <laughs> I 
<laughs> hey, two months. Okay, I am... I'm going to start a bid on yellow. And I will bid... Minimum bid is five? Six, six I think. No, because you count the one you're, you're adding, so it would be... Oh, uh, okay, yeah, five. Yeah, I'll bid five. <laughs> Drain base, thank you. Also two months. Did they make it harder? That's annoying. Guess we need to wait for Mango to come back. Oh, yeah, Mango did walk away, didn't he? No, we'll just pass for him. That seems like something he'd want to do. Yeah, pass as I attack his company. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> So I have a new theory. What, what you... if I just have one of every stock? <laughs> and then suddenly everybody else is just doing the work for me. <laughs> I think part of the issue is how many shares of some of the companies there are. You know? Yeah. This is this is true. I guess there might have been an argument for going into green instead with that logic in mind. I mean, nothing's happened. You can change if you want to. No, uh, no. Uh, you know what? Yeah, all things being equal, they're literally the same value. But then it feels like I'm just attacking Lily this round. Come on, I'm crippled. Don't attack me. <laughs> <laughs> It's fine, Lily. Were our positions reversed, you'd do it to me. It's true. She has no mercy. I pretend like I do. Does that count for anything? I mean, I like you as a person. Cool, cool. <laughs> Yeah, I do like this play better. Mango's absence meant that I could take more time to think about this. I feel attacked. <laughs> Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. I'm just thinking about uh, track limits in, in this game. Okay. I, think, I think right now we're developing in very standard ways. I wish I could get into red so I could start steering it into a corner. Because <laughs> I uh, would. I would it's... just fucking turn that shit around. Uh... This is why I like Paris Connection. Play whatever you want. So, like, if I could sell shares, I would see the argument to doing that. As it is, I feel like being in red is more just an argument for letting Garrick make it pretty good so that I'm gaining off of his efforts. I think the thing is you have to make it good, but not too good is the issue. Because if he makes it too good, especially with him having majority share... Through, I mean, I could definitely just like run some track off into the forest at some point <laughs> if I don't have anything better to do. Yeah, I don't know that I'm the leader right now, though. So it feels like a waste. I just don't like you. I know. I know. 
want to make it clear. I don't like, I felt kind of frustrated because I feel like I had to take kind of like a dud action because I didn't, if I end if I took something else and then Alan ended the round, then like, I still feel like I'm going kind of like last for like track opportunity. So I was kind of just trying to like elongate the round. It makes sense. Yeah. But I don't like doing it. It doesn't feel good. I mean, you're making your you're making your run like more efficient, at least. That's, that's fair. And I mean, there is only a limited. I think the houses are piece limited. Are they piece limited? Yeah, the houses are piece limited. They're one of the game end triggers. Oh uh, yeah, I remember this. I think it's maybe the it's it's maybe the rarest one, or tied with developing Pittsburgh. <laughs> Joe, Joe, shush, <laughs> Joe. <laughs> I never said I was going to let him go to Chicago. I just more said I don't see the purpose in like trashing it. I mean, the beauty of it is red cannot get more money than it currently has. So if I can waste enough of it. Yeah, that, yeah. Red, red is, is hard limited uh, in a sense. Yeah. I'm assuming I mean, I it guess... has enough to go to Chicago. I didn't do the math to make sure it had enough to go to Chicago, but I wasn't convinced it was going to happen anyway. So one, two, three, four. I mean, it's all ones. You can definitely make it there. Yeah, it looks like it only needs 10 to get there. Yeah. I feel like the argument is more like, why should I help you get there? But yeah, yeah, definitely not doing that. But like, I don't know that going off and spending a bunch of your money does a lot. Not until he gets closer. I guess. I mean, I'm just like, I'm looking around at the different places I could lay track. I'm like, OK, here. I could run him into some mountains that is so that I at least get the benefit of it. And that would drain a lot of cash out of him. Actually, yeah, I could. If I ran him on these four mountains, <laughs> he can't get money back from the forest. So that yeah. would drop him down to nine dollars. Yep, that would do it. Perfect. <laughs> so there you go. I make it just good enough <laughs> without making it great. Exactly. That's the way to go. In the meantime, I'm going to mostly focus on things that help me. It's a long way for him to get to Chicago. <laughs> it is a long way. It's only three more track lays. Yeah, only. <laughs> that is closer yeah, which, than anyone else's, sir. Which means I have at least three turns to do it. <laughs> Fair. I can't believe Joe burned me when I'm wearing a Choo Choo Crew shirt and everything. Keep doing it, Joe. Keep burning him. I'm going to burn my shirt now. I'll steal it before you do that because <laughs> I want it. <laughs> I did not know you had that shirt until today. And I. Well, it arrived, like, it arrived like two days ago. So I can't go downstairs to find out these things. That's fair. As long as uh, see, another one. <laughs> first, first mistake was going upstairs. I wanted to sleep. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> I chose, I chose sleeping over over access to the kitchen. I guess, which is you know a thing. That's true. I control your food supply now. <laughs> you do control my food supply, and I do not like it. You judge my choices of eating goldfish for breakfast. Hey, that is the breakfast of champions. <laughs> I can't say much. My current dinner was a handful of, of goldfish. <laughs> we have a lot of goldfish. The jingle for goldfish. <laughs> Train base, I can't believe you tell me about this cool game and now you tell me it's $150 and hard to get. That's why is that the story of my life? <laughs> Well, I'm expecting us to have it within the week. No, no. I, I just bought a bunch of shirts. I can't buy any board games. Thank gosh. I had to stop looking at the War Games channel. I'm like, <laughs> guys, 
how much money have you spent on this? Seriously. <laughs> Too much. That's how much. Because, like, I'm vaguely interested, but then I'm like, I don't know if it's a good idea to get in to this. It seems like a trap. <laughs> it is a trap, man. I'm looking at all the coin games, and I'm like, I just want to buy all of them. I'm on the... I'm on all the GMT P500s for, like, everything. One day I'm just going to get, like, charged for all of them at once and go bankrupt. It's my life now. Yeah. I mean, 18XX is bad enough. I'm like, yeah, maybe for my birthday I'll, I'll print up 36. We'll, we'll do that. <laughs> and then proceed to never play it ever. Oh, come on. You can convince your friends. They like Ark, right? Don't they? Uh, well, actually, let's have a conversation <laughs> about, how, about how I literally ruined Ark, right, for my friends and they refused to play. <laughs> okay, very sorry about that. I am back. No worries. You are, uh, no, what are we doing? What are we? We're, We're auctioning the... off a green share. Right. And I don't remember how much the original bid was for. Uh, the original bid was for five. So it's five to me? Five to you. Uh, I'll go for six. Okay. Um, what's it, what's it paying right now? Paying Not great. Five. Uh, Buffalo is good. Um, I'll take it to seven. Take it to eight. Staying to oh. eight, Lily? Yep. I'll hmm. take it to nine. I'm out. Uh, I'm also out. Take it to 10. You can have it for 10. Hey, I'll just be broke as shit. I love it. You'll be wholly invested in green. I am, and this is a terrible decision, and I love it. Did, hey, you, a, did you add company to your money? I did not, no. I never do. On the bright side, the incentive structure for somebody else going into green is really dropping fast. <laughs> uh, Mango, what you doing? Oh, Alan put that up for auction. Yeah, I yeah, Mango, Mango, you did not put that up for auction. <laughs> no, he thought you had Lily. I thought oh. I thought Lily did. Oh, yeah, I never would have. But I guess I, I was um, gone for like eight minutes, so I guess I should have known it had gone to Alan by now. Uh, all, anyway. all I've done with my life in this round is attack Lily, and it's rude. <laughs> I feel hurt, sir. Um. Hmm. Want to develop? Do you want to auction another green? You can do three in one round. All of the auction actions. Hmm. Yeah, chat. I'm curious about Napoleon's triumph. I wish it was more available. I would like to build trains, but clearly. That's yeah, not about happen. that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um. Hacking the weakest in health. This man is wise. <laughs> Okay, I am going to develop. No, I'm not. I'm going to auction off a yellow. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. <laughs> you know what I love about this is I still get the full payout for blue. Yeah, yeah, that is. I can't decide if it's a problem yet or not. <laughs> All right, Mango, uh, your minimum bid is going to be five. What would you like to? I will bid five. Okay. 
Uh, I will bid... Six. Um, I will bid... Seven. Take the eight. Uh, I'll pass. I'll take it to nine. Ten. Uh, whatever, I'll just buy it for twelve. Okay. Is that a mistake? That's probably a mistake. Everything is a mistake. I mean, you are the only one of us who's <sighs> diversified, so I don't know. Well, so my th my thought process <laughs> is I am, like, even though I'm losing some money on it now, I'm probably going to get the most in dividends, which happens right now, so that's that's why I'm doing it. Just saying, don't piss off the CNO kid. <laughs> Alright, uh, that triggers uh, a dividend. Oh yeah, we need to put money into the company. 12, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, back away. Back away. <laughs> Alright. Um, uh, that triggers a dividend. Companies are paid. Uh, red has a value of 16. Oops. Green and yellow, 13. And blue, 10. It's all paid out. Ooh, like I got two free dollars. Uh, I got three free dollars. Reset the these. Two, two free dollars, okay. Back over there. Detroit moves up in value. And play continues with me, I think. Yep. Mm -hmm. Be right back. I'm just gonna go get a drink. You're fine. So if I let's say you let's say you've built in one of these um, in Pittsburgh or something. Yeah. And then you develop it. Do you get the bonus? Yes. Okay. And if you develop it, you can't develop it again, or can you? Uh, for Wheeling and Pittsburgh, uh, you can. For the other ones, you cannot. Okay. And you get the bonus each time. If you already have a train. Well, you have to already have a train there, right? Yeah. Well, there has to already be a train there. You can develop if you're not there, uh, and then later lay in there and gain the value. If that's Got it. Okay. something you want to do. There just has to be a train. Yes. Not many trains that would necessitate an entire rack. <clears throat> uh, feel like I need shares. I also want to lay track. Let's gosh, 
screen is so few shares. Leave green alone. I'm looking at green and yellow and blue. Yeah, what did I miss? I'm just Nothing. yeah. I'm, I'm looking at the comp different companies. At what point does it become best to auction off blue? I don't know. I mean, I'm happy to just keep earning ten dollars every round while I do other things. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna put a blue auction, a blue share up for auction. Uh, bit of five. Oh right, I have money now. Um, sir, which which did you choose, Garrick? Blue. The end of. Oh. Okay. I'll go for six. I'll take it to seven. Go to 12. Oh, let's see. I'll take it to 13. I'm out. Uh, 14 is fine, yeah. Mongol? <laughs> oh, sorry, I was muted. I'm out. <laughs> You're out. Okay. Uh, Alan's on 14. Sixteen. You can have it. Okay. All right. So sixteen. All right, and that is my turn. Okay, Lily. I will train. Spending four, getting a value of one? Yes, indeed, a doodle. All right, I got your income. Thank you. Alan? Okay. I will auction a blue. Yep. Starting at four. <laughs> Rip my previous value. <laughs> Mango? Um, take it up to eight. I'm out, obviously. Um, I'll take it to nine. Ten. Thirteen. Alan, did you back out? Alan did 10. Uh, Alan I did, did 10. 10. Mango did 13. 13. Yeah, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Okay. I just wanted to... I just All didn't right. hear. That's fine. I'll do 14. You can take it. Okay. Got it cheaper than Garrick. That's what matters. <laughs> Makes sense. Mango, I think you're muted again. Dang it. 
I built trains. I saw that. That's why I was saying something. <laughs> it's minus 10. And I added the money to blue for the 13. Um, did you adjust your revenue yet? Oops. I did not adjust the revenue, so I get one, two. Oh, three, I four, paid five. five. I paid 14, not 13, so let's give blue an extra dollar. Um, so my revenue goes up five, yes. Yes. One, two, three, four, five. Sweet. And that is my turn. Okay. CJ, thank you so much, man. Four months. Choo choo indeed. One auction left. I have six bucks. I'm going to take the auction and do nothing. Makes sense. I want to continue my trek. Okay. Oh, so Buffalo I... adds three. Yeah. Yes, it does. That's I a big deal. Four. One, two, three. I've added your income. Conclusion. You spend your money? Yes. Okay. Alan. All right. Surprising nobody, I will lay blue track. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say something if you didn't immediately do it. <laughs> All right. We'll go to wheeling. Uh, so that's going to cost six, nine. And gaining four income by my count? Yeah. I have adjusted the income. Yeah, I was I was debating on that last round, but I felt like having control over the auction and control over the company was a little more important than getting the one revenue off of the mountain track. I don't know, I could have been wrong. The real dick move would have been Mango laying in this forest and trapping Blue in. <laughs> Would have been problematic, yeah. I guess then I just start taking up mountain slots. Yeah, I guess like... so. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe you cut cut up into no, Pittsburgh. No, I'd have to come and... or through Charleston. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it would have been bad. It would, would have been very awkward. It would have. Uh, Mango, you are up, sir. Oh, Mango had to step away a second again. Mm. I think Mango okay. Jr. must not be staying down tonight. I don't like how you said that. Well, I... I, I, <laughs> I tried I mean, to... It's good. I just, you know... Dislike it. Speaking of Mango, I feel like we're letting him run away with things somehow. Uh, he's, he's got a share so, of yellow. He can drive it into the ground whenever needed. Also, he's undershared is the thing. Like That's fair. He's, That's fair. He's, gonna, he's gonna start feeling it in the dividends pretty soon. Yeah, that, that is the reason I blocked off the last share action, or auction action. Yeah. We're. I do think it's interesting because I think the valuation of the shares is going to start to shift pretty rapidly as we hit the halfway mark of the game. Mm -hmm. But I think we're still at a point where like aggressively pr pricing up the shares is correct. Oh, 
A weird thing about this game is the end can kind of come out of nowhere if you're not careful. Yeah. We're not there. We're not there yet. But well, if, yeah, trains. I think when the the game that I played before, running out of trains was the actual end game. I think trains and shares are the two big ones to pay attention to. Uh, if what you, is it if if two companies run out of everything? Let me three check. companies. Uh, yeah, three is. Three or more companies have no more trains or shares. But remember no, that Black that only has 11 spot. trains, so... Ah, uh, yes, Wabash. Wash well, someone has to get to Chicago for that, though. Yeah. That's true. Uh, by the way, Mingo, you are up. Okay. So... I'm definitely going to build some trains. Yeah, I've got a share of that. <laughs> so minus three. Income goes plus up one. One. I got your income. Okay. Honestly, need to get a green share just so I can feel good about every action that every player takes in the game. <laughs> just the maximum feel goods. <laughs> yeah. Just ride everyone's coattails forever. All right. Well, that triggers a dividend. Uh, so uh, red is paying 16. Blue is paying 14, yellow is paying 19, and green is paying 17. I did blue. Oh, I got $18. Well, yeah, you got six times three. Makes sense. Mm hmm. Uh, who still needs to pay out? I see BNO has, I see NYC has. I'll pay out red. I guess I'll pay out CNO. CNO was 19. Oh. Yeah. Okay, that's everyone paid out. I reset the tracks. Uh, I adjusted Detroit. So let's look at the money. Oof! I am uh, rapidly losing, it appears. That's uh, what can we do? You're up first, yes. Yeah. Do what to do. Who'd, uh, who just went? Mango went. Yeah. Okay. Man, how did I end up making the least by a long shot? Um. Did everything pay out correctly? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure it did. I just I have the two worst company shares. Oh, yeah, that's fair. So now I'm in the conundrum of do I buy more? Do I try to buy more shares? Uh, knowing you guys have more money than me, or do I just work on developing my companies? Yeah, that's. Mm, that's hard. I don't know. I've been firmly in the boat of diversifying is working out for me, but I don't know how long that remains true, especially at higher share values. Going into green at this point just feels like doesn't get you that much. I guess it is. No, it's still five. I mean... I'll auction a share. Let's make it. Let's make it a yellow. Starting bid is five. I will bid six. I'll bid seven. I will bid ten. I'll bid eleven.
Billy? What's the bid? 11. 11. That's 12. I'll take it to 13. 16. Sixteen. Um. Seventeen. I'm out. Pass. Uh, you, you bid 18, Garrick? Yeah. yeah. No, 17? I got a, ni- I bid- I got a 19. Gar- Garrick's was... 17? Yeah, 17. Yeah. Okay, then 18. 18. Um... I can't go any higher. You have to have to let you have that. Yeah. Okay, so 18. Yep. yep. I'll put the money in the company. Thank you. Yeah, that's hard. I'm I'm like sitting here mathing it out trying to figure out do you ever make $18 back off of this or does the game end before that happens? Yeah, I don't know. Well, that was my I turn. Do math my stomach. <laughs> right there is Batman. <laughs> Lily? Mm. Sorry, I'm fading a little bit. What's going on? Uh, it's is your turn. turn. Yep. Okay, I got this. I have made it to Cleveland. You have made it to Cleveland. That's literally all I cared about. Paying three bucks. Uh, It looks like somebody moved your income, I think. Uh, No. No. Okay. So it goes up by three? Two. Uh, Two. 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 Oh. Game always ends before Alan can what, Emu? Game always ends before Alan can? That sounds ominous. (laughs) <laughs> huh. Huh. I like gosh I feel like I'm just like never developing my company but I feel like controlling the auctions is so valuable I, it's so important but like if your companies fall behind what do you do that's where I am right now buy other people's companies that's my answer that's what I was trying to do but when you have the least money uh, I will bid five Mango? Oh, uh, Mango messaged me. Build trains to Fort Wayne on his turn. No more bids on stocks. All right. Uh, well, in that case, what was the... What was the... Uh, uh, I, bid? Bid, I bid five. I will bid six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. <laughs> 12 13 14 if nothing else I can make other people make bad decisions um, 15 16 I will take it to 17 I'm out I'm out yeah I have one of everything. Congrats. <laughs> also, Garrick, you no longer have the least money. This is true. This is true. 
All right. Uh, following Mingo's actions, he's going to take uh, build track and then lay to Fort Wayne. Yeah, maybe I should have bid a yellow. <laughs> it's going to cost him three bucks and gain one in revenue. Uh, that's his turn done. Uh, I guess I'll try auctioning. Let's go after... Okay, so Mango can reach Chicago. That's fun. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to try and auction a yellow share. <laughs> How uh, much? Starting bid will be... Let's... Um... <laughs> Emu, thanks for the bits, man. Are you still top cheer? Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, we'll start at four. Lily? Sorry, how much? Four is my bid. Five. Six. We're going to assume Mango's not bidding on a second yellow share. No, this is a, yeah. This is a hard, this is a hard point to me. Yeah, I don't want to. I mean, we can wait a minute. Yeah, we can wait. He said no more bids on stocks, but I don't want to... This is an attack on his company, though. Yeah. Yeah. I'd feel bad. Yeah, we'll just... Unless... I'll sit on my bit of six, and we can wait for him to come back. I don't know how to get out of this hole. One, two, three, four, five. God, the awkward thing is even if he gets to Chicago, it still only brings it up to six. It does get that extra special revenue, though. Remember the special Chicago dividend? The, the company oh. that lays to Chicago gets a dividend. Oh, only that company gets it. Okay. Yeah. But... Yeah, I mean, even then, it's only going to be $6. Like, I don't know. It's awkward. That's a thing. Like, blue and red, even if they don't get very far, like, there's just, there are fewer shares. Therefore, it can't be tanked quite as hard. Yeah, that was my, that was my thinking going after early red shares. I was like, they, they hold on to their value no matter what. The problem is they have to make value, which I'm not really doing. I mean, I guess, I guess they're pay I guess red is paying out the best right now. At the moment. Yeah. I mean, that wasn't true like two seconds ago, but. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, my blue shares are also like now equivalently good. Yeah. <laughs> so. God, this is such a good game. I mean, I'm probably just going to develop instead of even laying track. I'll just get the plus two to bring me up into the six range. It's fair. I guess we're halfway through the game if we're on fourth uh, event coming up on the fifth. Mm. We are running out of shares. We're getting there. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, there's a, there's a significant chance that... Oh, no, because he's going to... He's gonna run train. Yeah, he's definitely gonna. Ah, so you did do. You got my instructions. Thank you. I back. did get your instructions. Yes. Uh, however, we came back around to another auction on yellow again, and we didn't want to advance without you. Uh, okay, just fair enough. Case. Yeah. Uh, what's the bid up to? And it's on me. It's on you. Uh, I've forgotten what it is. I so I bid six, I believe, because uh, Garrick did yeah. four, Lily did five. Yeah. Okay, fifteen. 
Yeah. Fair. Cool. <laughs> totally fair. Uh, 16. 17. 18. I can't. 19. <laughs> wow. 20. Fuck. Guys, I think you've forgotten. <laughs> I think you've forgotten the math of this. The uh, game's almost over, so guys. You know is the GME of this game. <laughs> I mean, he's very close to Chicago, though, so my brain is just going off of that knowledge. Hold on, I'm mathing. Yeah, that's fair. It's going to get 12 back pretty much immediately. Twelve back. You, you can't develop Chicago? You tell me there's no room for improvement? This game is very Chicago-centric. <laughs> <laughs> I've been there. It's very cold in the winter. It's not that great. <laughs> Sorry to anybody from Chicago. <laughs> Don't think Twenty one. It's on you, Lily. It's twenty one. You can have for 21. Okay. Okay. Man, you gave it to him. All right. I did. I still but don't. So I, I still don't know because, like, does it make its money back? Who knows? However, you could have prevented Garrick from buying stock for yet another. <laughs> and it would have been bad. Yeah. It's fine. All right. That was. Uh, was that me? Who? That was you. That was you. Yeah, so you it's Lily. Okay. All right, development time. <laughs> hey, I have one of those, so I'm happy with this. Alan, you're. I up. mean, to be fair, all of these are plus two houses for me, so development time is fun. Yeah, I have several plus two mountains that I can tie into. All right, uh, Mango, you're up. Um, you know what? Let's. I really, I just, why are these houses so damn big? Um, so if, let's say I developed wheeling, well, it would move up to four and then I would get a four bonus? No, you would get the difference between what it was and what it is. So you'd get a bonus of one with that one development. Okay. Understood. Yeah. Um, given that, I'm going to develop a mountain. Believe, hang on. Hmm. Ugh, that's a long way to six. Oh, but I get to five. Okay. So yes, I will develop a mountain. You also could just like lay track to Indianapolis or something. I mean, can't you just lay track into Chicago? I think he wants to increase his value before we do that, and he wants to incentivize me to be the one to do it. Hmm. It's almost uh, like you know how to play games. That was a plus two. two. Six, seven. You'd need to go up Four more before you before it makes any difference at all. Yes, but I did just get it from five to six after entering Chicago. No, it was going to go to six anyway. It goes up by yeah, seven. It was gonna, that's what I'm no, saying. It's going to go to six regardless because it goes up seven spots. Yeah. Oh right. Well, in that case, yeah, I'm just going to build in Chicago. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, bef I, I'm more just saying you probably want to do that before the last CNO share is bought. Okay. Uh, so spending five. Yep. I'll increase your value by seven. Seven. And then that triggers the special Chicago phase. First up, there is a Chicago dividend for the company that laid there. Uh, so it's going to be a payout of 27 for yellow. I will take care of it. There we go. Uh, then do, do, the Wabash Cannonball opens. Do a black locomotive is placed in Fort Wayne. So does that immediately affect its price? It does. It has a value of one. 
<laughs> oh, so it doesn't it doesn't get wabash it doesn't get a plus one you can imagine it was zero and now it's plus one understood yeah uh man do, how do you make that good i mean you just laid a chicago sure yeah, you, but... just, you just laid a chicago uh okay and then we auction off the first share starting with mango since he laid the track uh all the normal auction rules apply so a minimum bid is one we'll start the bidding at one dollar uh one i will bid yeah i should have just bid you know what i'm gonna bid nine <laughs> <laughs> S- screw you. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, Lily. I didn't realize you were that low. I would have priced you out immediately. Fred, nine. Yeah. How much is it? Current bid's nine. No Ten. sense for it to go around a whole round. Uh, I'll bid 11. Um, hmm. So it can only ever go down to the second row here, right? Yeah. Okay. I guess I'm I'm starting to understand the color coding of this thing now. Uh, I'll bid twelve. Really? Uh, I'll pass. Uh, thirteen. Thirteen, you say? All right, I'll go to fourteen. I'll go to fifteen. Take it. Yeah. I want to have everything. I tell you, I'm making poor decisions. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's all done. Uh, goes on to next player, which is me. I'm going to go ahead and lay track for red. We're going to Do you have to lay three or can you lay up to three? Up to three. Understood. Go one. Two, three. Which costs oh, yeah. me five bucks. I'll in- increase it to three. Thank you. Or to the Buy three, to yeah. yeah. Uh, and that's and my turn. Then... Cool. So would you have to be like fairly desperate to develop a forest? I would think so. Okay. I'm pretty sure I wasn't missing out missing on something there that like should have seemed obvious, but like no, $2 think, in the company coffer is like it seems like nothing. Yeah, I think you would need to be desperate. It's like last last round thing, like I need one more coin to build a something to something. Yeah. Lily, you're up. Lily? I'm here. Okay. We're almost done. We're so close, I can feel it. Just trying to think what's the best return on value. And it is ending it. All right. I pay out one dollar. Wait. This worked out. Hold on, she's got to lay up to Detroit, which is a pretty yeah. good lay. Oh? Well, it's worth four. Just gonna ignore my dumb humor. Uh, you know I get it. Yes, I, I hear it. you. Ig- ignore it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. You paid your money, Lily. Yep. All right. Uh, red is paying out nineteen. Blue is paying out sixteen. Yellow twenty-seven. Green twenty-five. So I will take care of red. Nobody has. I right, take care of green. So there's only one share left of each company, yes? Uh, except for PRR, which is sold out, yes. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, each one that has something left. Yep. 
Uh, are all the companies paid out? It looks like looks it. Looks like it. Okay. I reset things. I advanced Detroit and likewise advanced Green's income by one. So play continues with Alan, I believe. Oof. I think buying Wabash lost me the game, but oh well. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do the obvious thing. Yeah, there's no way to hit them both, so I just got to go straight to Chicago. Yeah, it's, it's the thing you have to do. It's by far the best return on investment. Yeah. I'll, I'll up your track value, or your income value. Yeah. Seven. And then I... Do, do I still get the special thing? Oh, is um... That, is that only the first player who does it? Each time a railroad company expands its route network to Chicago, the game is interrupted, and you get an extra dividend immediately. So yeah, go ahead and take eight dollars. Yay! It does not make up for what I spent. And then, did you spend your track money? Oh, uh, do do do. Five bucks. What five? Uh, who cares? <laughs> You're like that company's done. Not doing anything else this game. <laughs> yeah, someone come in and buy Wabash. It'll pay off. I promise. Uh, can somebody build in Clarksburg beside Blue, or is that considered a mountain? Uh, Clarksburg yeah. is not a mountain. It is a town, city, whatever you want to call it. Okay. Well, actually, for what I want to do, it kind of doesn't matter. So. Okay, so I'm going to build. For some reason, alt right click sometimes just doesn't want to work. Okay, so mm -hmm. I spend one, two, three, four. And that increases and by one. Increases by one. Got it. Thank you. You're all That's done. Me. Okay. Yep. I'm gonna lay track. I, oh, I already, I already advanced that. I think. Oh, I'm taking. I'm doing it for my turn. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Advancing. Yep. You're fine. I'm gonna lay track for red. We're gonna go one, two, and three. Spend money, gain one. Uh, my turn's done. All right, Lily, you're up. Oh, wait a minute. That's, hold on. That's one, two. It's, that's a dumb. I need to not take the revenue and lay there. I'm sorry. That's all good. Yeah. Um. How many trains can be in a space? Uh, if it's a mountain or forest, just one. Otherwise, mm -hmm. it's any number. Okay, I just wanted to double check. I say flipping over there in the rule book to make sure I'm not lying. <laughs> yes, yeah. Spend four dollars to one it's revenue thing you need one revenue you said yes please okay alan is up yep i will lay some more trains and lay that that and that, which should increase the revenue by five for $12. See, I told you I was just going to run around the mountains for a while. Is it by five? It is, because this is one and Pittsburgh oh, is four. You laid this one. Yep, yep. Um, just so I'm clear, this could theoretically be the last round if enough gets auctioned off. Correct. Okay, because it requires three to be gone. Or if enough trains are... No, yeah, we're past that point, so next round would make the last one in that case. Yeah, okay. 
So it's either this round or next round, depending on how people want to auction. Yeah. Unless... Yeah, no, yeah. Yeah, no matter what. I was wondering if there's a way to stall it, but there's not. Oh, I guess you could take actions without doing anything. Theoretically, there's a way to stall it, yeah. yeah. So, but probably this or next. Correct. Okay. With that being said... The problem with buying stocks is you might take yourself out of the running for winning the game by spending any money on stocks at this point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. But... Which is why y'all are going to let me have them for free, right? <laughs> right. Uh, okay, so I'm going to develop. And we're going to develop in... One of these metals, and then make two. So if I developed in South Bend, Lily and I would both get the bonus? Correct. Or not Lily and I, green and yellow. Green would and yellow would, yes. Yeah. Right. Now you're talking like with trains. I feel like developing mountains is pretty nice just because you know that you're the only one who gets that benefit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. If I guess if I already, if I was diversified, that would be wonderful play. That being said, I will. Oh my God. How many times am I going to say that being said? <laughs> <laughs> I will develop this mountain here for a plus two. Sweet. Yep. I've okay. got one of those. Um. Uh, is there anything I can do? Probably not. Probably not. I'll develop Pittsburgh, which gets two for blue, two for red. Oh, that's really good for you. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good night, CJ. Yeah, it just sucks that I couldn't play that one track to get one dollar in my income. It's currently the difference between two dollars for me again not that so it really matters when you develop wheeling in pittsburgh do you still pull from the from i don't this thing i don't that? think so mm -mm. oh and so if detroit upgrades every round if you've already built there do you get one every round for being there yes i already adjusted green the, for the one time that happened okay uh lily's up Houses. More houses, and I, Garrick, I like your idea. <laughs> I like it. Yes, I do. All right. Uh, so then we trigger a dividend. It looks like. In that case, yellow's paying out thirty. Green twenty nine. Blue 25, red 23, and black 8. I'll go ahead and take care of red if nobody has yet. I got yellow. I already did it. I'll oh. do. I did blue, red, and I adjusted black. Okay. Yellow is taken care of. So we just need green? Need... Green is 29. 29. I'll do it. All right. I'll reset the tracks. Uh, I will adjust Detroit and green's income. And we're good to go. 
So it was Mango who was up? Yep, I'm going to go ahead and build my last train. Choo-choo to Detroit. Very nice. Six for a plus six. Or yellow. Six. Beautiful. Beautiful. And then it's cost how much? Two? Uh, one. One. Wow. I mean, not that I care how much money the company has. Yeah. <laughs> Trains, am I right? Okay. Uh, I'll go ahead and lay track. I'll go... One, two, three. Living the dream, right? Oh, Derek. <laughs> you know what Lily's about to do. Why are you doing this? Do I know what she's about to do? She's going to land in Chicago. Clearly, you want to bid on the last green. Oh, mm -hmm. man. I mean, what does he carry? Is three people going to Not that anybody would bid that high, I guess. At this point, they all have, have set prices. Yeah, they do. The only reason I bring it up is because it's the only the only thing that could still pay out. <laughs> but it's fine. You you did your turn. You're good. Yeah, yeah. All right. I I, I got to get one for red and then I'm spending uh four. Okay, Lily, you're up. Makes sense. Okay. Spend. Hey. I want to join the pile. <laughs> <laughs> I think oh, you're out of track. No yeah, you only have Dang two. It. Ah. Is there any place I can go that makes sense? I don't think so. I think I, I, well, I want to join this pile anyway. I yeah, will join the pile nowhere. anyway. There's nowhere else to go. That's fine. Okay. Uh, so that increases your revenue by seven. One, two, four, five, six, seven. And then it's up it, to ten. Damn. And it pays out at thirty-seven. I got it. Paid out. Nice. That one share I got is really carrying me. <laughs> Oh, gosh. All right, Alan, you're up. Yeah, Freddy, those no actions. They helped me once. Uh, but I've misplayed too egregiously for them to matter otherwise. Come on, Alan. You know it's worth it. You've got to share. Worth what? Laying the last red to Chicago. <laughs> you know what, though? That actually wins me the game if I do it. Because I'll get the dividend off of Chicago, and that will put me ahead of Lily. You are correct. That is what I do. You see that, Freddy? It says local models from all companies can be placed on all city, industrial, and plane hexes. Uh, so it pays out at 31. <laughs> and there are three companies that don't have trains. Uh, look at that. This is the final round. The next dividend will end the game. Well. Clearly you were just testing my rules knowledge, Freddy. So I guess I auction off a share. It'll pay out once, which means it's worth... It will pay out once. It's worth what it's worth. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
Yeah, it's it's awkward. The only thing, the other thing it does is it is it takes away, it dilutes someone else's yeah. share. Yeah, that's the only play it does. So since Alan's in the lead, I guess it's we're auctioning off blue, or yep. or you could auction off black. <laughs> blue seems better. <laughs> blue hurts more, or actually does it? I don't know. So because it only drops my revenue by a total of four, I guess dropping black would also just be a total of four. It's awkward. Uh, <laughs> I will. Um, I will open the bid at seven dollars. <laughs> uh, I think I pass. Billy. I'm thinking. Okay. Um. I mean, I could be wrong, but is there literally any reason to do this? Uh, there would be, I think, if something could develop into a higher bracket of payout. Blue is not going to. <laughs> yeah, no. I'll pass. Passing, of course. Okay. So it's effectively doing nothing except for taking a little bit of Alan's yeah, you you just yeah. you hurt Alan by what is it four bucks and me by two bucks. Yeah. Perfect. Keep and, doing that. And did nothing to myself. Well, you know, bash the leader, right? That's how you play games, right? That is uh, very much how you play yeah. games. Does that mean? I of course, this game is too, this game is still too uh, obtuse to me to be able to parse who the leader actually is. So therefore, the number in the box is the leader. So one more share can be purchased, and then that would. Oh, actually, no, I guess technically we could just buy all the shares. Yeah. Because we've already triggered game end. Well, there's uh, only two more. There's only two more. Yeah, there's only um, two more actions. actions. So something yeah. gets left behind. I mean, I've lost so much, it doesn't matter. I just wait. Now, uh, Alan will retaliatorily auction off a yellow. I mean, I think following the same logic, I put up a black for auction at four dollars. Lily, pass. Alan, I will. I'll pass. Mango. I will also pass. Okay, it is mine for four dollars. <laughs> it's my turn. Well, I feel left out. <laughs> uh, what's the mid bid? Six. Six. I will bid six. Mm, yeah, turn order screwed me there. I needed lilies to get pulled. Now it's a lot tighter. I will bid seven. Well, does Alan want to bid? No, but Alan isn't going <laughs> to bid. <laughs> Just wanted to All right. clarify. I'm not bidding. You can have it for seven. Okay. I think that nets me one. Because mm -hmm. I can develop it to the next bracket, right? Unless Alan ends the game by laying track. Ooh. <laughs> it's a gamble. Uh, I, do ha I do have ownership of every company. <laughs> However... There's not many uh, trains left. There's plenty of black I, trains. I, well, actually, I just have to do the action. Yeah, you so. don't even have to lay track. But you may as well lay black or something, because, you know, why not? No, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do something that nets me some kind of revenue. Um, I would have to do four in blue, and that's the one that actually helps me. Three in black. Actually, don't. I don't know. And the, yeah, those are the only two that have trains left. I think the most so, you can do is two in black. Uh. 
where do I get to? You can run down to Indianapolis. Oh. Uh, which doesn't actually change my revenue. Uh, no, it's on four right now. But it what? doesn't change it up. Oh, there. it's on four. Well, I guess that gets me a dollar, and the other one's held by Garrick, so that's not a problem. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, was that too rude? No, I, I completely agree. That's the reason I'm trying to goad you into this, is because it doesn't actually matter for you, but I get a dollar. It helps my position. Well, it actually, it does help my, it does matter. It does help my position. No, I, uh, yeah, yeah. I need, like, this is, this is going to be very tight race between Lily and I, so. Yeah. Which, speaking of, uh, now that you have spent that money, that is the end of the game. We trigger a dividend, and then we see what our final scores are. So, green is paying out 37. Yellow's paying out 36. Red is paying out 31. Blue's paying out 25. And black is paying out 10. I did yellow. I think yellow. they've all now been done. They've all been done. I see Wabash, PR, 1, 2, CNO. Four. I only see four companies. Oh, who's CNO missing? didn't pay. CNO did not? BNO. BNO. Oh, shoot. There we go. And there right, so lowest are... score wins, right? Because this game's about the evils of capitalism. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You win Wait. the moral victory, Mango. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, oh. I jumped up more than I thought I would there. Oh yeah, you really you caught. I I lost on just share density. I think. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Although those three shares carried me pretty fucking far. <laughs> Right. They, well, mean, you developed them into like effectively the best, literally the best company. Yeah, I mean, you had share quality, uh, and you narrowly lost to share quantity. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, I had a strategy, and I decided I was going to do nothing but that. <laughs> I mean, I think honestly, the capital I, the the capital investment I gained from being the only investor in BNO for such a long time mm -hmm. kind of carried me. Yeah. So I can't necessarily say that that was like an engineered thing that I did. I just got, I was the lucky person who didn't get attacked. Yeah. But yeah, diverse, oh yeah, Mar Marcos, di diversification is the other thing. Like that helped me a lot. Well, I would have loved to get some of the yellow shares, but I just never found a good time to actually fight for them. Well, it's interesting because this game had no trashing whatsoever. Uh, mm -hmm. and I oh, you mean you mean like tragic track style? Trashing? Yeah, like like just yeah. throwing track out the wrong direction, wasting company money, all that stuff. Uh, maybe maybe as a result of us all bidding high for shares, so companies were flush with cash. Yeah. That was the thing, like, all the companies had a lot of money. Right, yeah, I guess, and, yeah, the, the amount in the company's coffers never was a concern for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At any point. Honestly, like, never... the, the, the opening auction went for pretty high, I feel like, because I just feel like, I remember with the first open it, with green, I remember being able to go from my start location to Cleveland without having to put any more money into it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I will say, uh, blue... So, like, it was a little... It did actually affect how I developed Blue that I couldn't get any more money in it for such a long time. Yeah. So, like, it got to a point where I was like, no, nah, I'm not even going to bother trying to go to Chicago. There's no point. <laughs> I just run around on the mountains. Yeah. Which, I mean, makes sense. No, I think and being able to snap something up right before it hits Chicago is is nice, mm -hmm. especially if you can grab yeah. extra share. Well, that was yeah. the thing too. Every time someone went to Chicago, I got the payout. Yeah, that's Not a, a smaller version of it, sure, but like I still got it. Right, and that's huge when when you're the only one who's getting every single payout like that. Yeah, it adds up. Yeah, that's such a good game. Yeah, this this was interesting. This is a nice 
diversion away from 18xx. See, I've never played an 18xx. This is my first train game aside from like playing Rail Bear when I was a kid. I'm not sure if that <laughs> game counts. <laughs> yeah, the the cute- thematically a train game, but it's not. Any, I'm pretty sure it wasn't an 18xx. Yeah, it. Uh, train games are cool because they're all about like shared incentives and like having a, a common space. And I think cube rails are especially cool because they they up the shared incentives more than 18xx often does. Because a lot of 18xx people aren't cross invested, whereas in cube rails that's a lot more common. Cube rails being there's not like directional track in each hex. Yeah, yeah. 18xx uh, has like a, a core rule set. That's universal, whereas cube rails uh, don't have a, a core rule set that's universal across them, but they pretty much always have hexes with trains that go in them, uh, and you know you can you can go in whatever direction or anything. And they, yeah, uh, you know, I guess thematically that makes sense, right? The why why can't you build more rails in a plane area? I guess it depends on scale, right? Yeah, it depends on is scale. This, is this a bigger scale than eighteen XX would be? It's pretty comparable. In fact, it's bigger than some. Look, it's the bigger it is, the more, you know, the more you can abstract the fact that rails need space yeah. within a hex. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. Anyway, cube rails are cool because they, they share incentives are so much more acute. Um, mm-hmm. I'm, tr- I'm trying to remember uh what was what was the other cube rail that we played the other day what did we play uh played we played age of steam not long ago but that's yeah that was a yeah that's sort of like it's sort of technically a cube rail but also not really it doesn't have any of the shared incentives of okay because that's what i was thinking was like that that felt to me more like railways of the world where each person is more just developing their own thing which makes it feel more like advanced ticket to ride (laughs) yeah probably not a fair assessment but (laughs) yeah age of steam and steam and railways of the world they're all like age of steam's a winsome but it's not really a cube rail it doesn't really have the 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 shared incentives and the the same sort What's of What's a winsome? Uh, winsome is a publisher of games, and the, ah. <laughs> this is this is turning into a whole lesson. Welcome to my TED talk. Winsome games. Uh, you see, this way you have to have a newbie on every once in a while so you can recover this content. Um, winsome games is a boutique publisher of games where the whole model is that uh, John Bohr, the 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 owner and and head designer, would release like basically prototype kits, but they're not actually prototype. They're like, they're finished games, but the idea is they're these effectively bare bones productions. Like they're, they're, they're cardboard and, and some cubes, some wooden cubes. Uh, and he sells them these plastic clamshells and he, he would take them to Essen and try to sell the design to a different publisher who would then mass produce it, uh, with a high quality with, you know, art and things like that. Um, uh, so he did this for like 20 years, releasing three titles each year that were either a, a new game or an expansion for a previous game. Uh, mm-hmm. and, and, and Chicago Express is one of them. It's, it was republished by Queen Games and given this art and, and all of that. Uh, the, the Iron Rail series that um, Capstone Games is doing right now, those are all winsomes. Irish Gage, Ride the Rails, Iberian gauge rails whichever whichever one they have uh but yeah they were all originally published by john borer with some sparse production uh so that's what people are referring to and he's he's sort of like the master of of train games and of cube rails not many other people have done stuff in the genre or if they have it's pretty much been through winsome games like amabel holland uh she sort of got her start through winsome uh, publishing cube rails through them. Anyway, I don't know if there's a point to that lesson. It just... There, there you no, go. There's all, some, that, that is all interesting. It was not wasted. <laughs> don't worry. Yeah. Mango, you should play more trains with us. You should. I should. Schedule permitting. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. 
In a couple, in a couple years, at, maybe I'll be more at, consistent. At the at the mercy of Little Mango, I get it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm I'm right there. I'm right there. I have a tiny me. terrorist living in my house. <laughs> yeah. Don't you play coin games? Don't you know how to handle that? <laughs> Not enough, apparently. I've never wanted the cats, so let's put. Uh... Are are they? Is it like a baby who's not like not figured out how to sleep yet? Is that what's happening? It's um, he has trouble going to sleep on his own still. So fair, yeah. It was just tonight. Tonight was just a kind of a cursed night too. It was a weird day. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, I maybe shouldn't have attempted, but like, I was like, all right, I felt confident. I was like, everything's good. <laughs> well, it was a pleasure having you anyway, even if you had to run off a few times. It's so big. Yes. Deal. Thanks for tolerating my short absences. <laughs> you know, that, that says they can go to the cutting room floor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on that note, I should probably end this. Uh, thanks y'all for playing. Uh, thanks everyone for watching. We'll be back with more trains next Tuesday. Schedules permitting, of course. Uh, hopefully we'll have some sort of Cole Worley game tomorrow and Vast on Thursday. We're still figuring out uh, how much we can stream with Lily recuperating from her surgery. But uh, we will have streams of some kind as we can. So have a great night and catch you next time.